If you use Midjourney to create clip art, any type of designs, then I want to show you something that you can do if you get generations that look like this and don't quite look right. So if we look here, that doesn't quite look right. This doesn't quite look right as well. So I want to show you what you can do to make a future generation much better than the original because it's really, really simple. Now, if we take a look at these, over the past few days, I've been playing around creating clip art. I'm trying to perfect a prompt. I have been trying to perfect a prompt that I could use here in Midjourney to create clip art bundles like this, but then that I can also use over here in Ideogram as well. Now, as we can see, it is actually going pretty well. And if we take a look down here, I actually have lots of these little clip art bundles. Now, I'm actually doing this because I'm trying to create a GPT, a GPT clip art bundle prompt generator. And that's it just here. Now, I'm still in the process of creating this and finishing it up. And this is going to be so simple to use. All we have to do, in fact, let's just come over to here. All we have to do is input what we want. So let's put six floral top hats. Then we click generate or enter. And then we're going to get a fully formatted prompt just like this. And then we're going to get the prompt breakdown underneath as well. So this is something that I'm currently working on and it should be available over the next couple of weeks. Now it's going to be available in my IDEO Mastery course. Now in here, there's already a couple of GPTs, one for t-shirts and one for stickers. But then with this new update over the next couple of weeks, there'll be three and this one's going to be the clip art prompt generator. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. So back over to here, because I have, let's come back down to here. I want to show you what you can quickly do to clean this up. And it's the same whether you've got weird bits in your generations, and it's going to be the same for anything that you generate. Now, what we want to do is copy this prompt. So we're going to copy that. This is a little tool that I've been using forever. I actually made a video about it ages ago. I'm sure it's still super relevant because nothing's really changed on here. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that down in the description. But we're going to copy the prompt. We're going to plug that back in. And then we're going to use the image URL of this image as well. And we're going to put that after the prompt. But we're going to put dash dash SREF space. And then we can put that URL. Now what this is going to do is create this prompt just here, but using this image as a reference image. And eight times out of 10, you just get much better generations. So now let's click enter, and then we'll just give that a second to do its thing. And there we go. So if we click on here, I do think this is already looking a lot better. Now we've still got a couple of inconsistencies and it's not quite doing what I want it because if we look here, I did want February the 14th written on a calendar. But as we know, Midjourney is not the best at doing words. But out of all of these, I quite like this third one. So if we go ahead and upscale this, let's go ahead and open them up in separate windows as well. So we can actually check this out. Now let's come on to here, let's open that, and let's open this one as well. And here we go. So this is the original. We can see, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. Now that wouldn't be too much of a problem if I were going to create this into a little clip art bundle, but nonetheless, I just don't like them. Now, is this going to work all of the time? Probably not because it is mid journey and you do sometimes have issues. But nonetheless, it does make much better generations using this method. Now you can also do this on images that you like just to enhance that design. Because again, if we take a look at the original, this looks good, but the newer generation has kind of been enhanced and I think it just looks a lot better. So let's come up to here. Let's find one that we could do this on. Now I do have quite a lot of images right here. I do like that as well. I really like these. 
these top hats look good. I have loads more up here as well. So in fact, let's just go ahead and choose one of these to try and enhance it and just make the generations look better. So in fact, let's go with this one. Let's stick with that Valentine's Day theme. So what we're going to do is copy the prompt. We'll plug that back in and then we'll get the URL of the image dash dash SREF. We'll paste that in there. Now you can even go one step further as well and double up on the reference and also paste the URL at the beginning of the prompt. So in fact, let's go ahead and do that. We'll click enter on that. And then what we'll also do is copy that again. We'll, we'll only do the one URL. So we'll do that and we'll take that beginning one out and then we'll click enter. Now let's just give this a second as well. Now, while that's doing that, let's come back up to here. Let's find those teddy bears again, which I believe were just here. Let's just go ahead and open that in a new tab, just like that. Now, let's scroll down. Let's scroll all the way down to these two new generations so we can take a look. So this one, this is using the same URL, but twice. One with dash dash S-R-E-F and one without. Now, if we take a look at these, these actually look really, really good. And I hope you can see what I mean by I say it enhances your design. Now, that's two URLs. This is just one URL with the dash dash S-R-E-F. Now, I really like this fourth one just here or that second one. So let's go with the fourth one. We'll just upscale that really quick and then we'll open this in a new tab as well and then we can compare the two. So this is the original. Don't get me wrong, it does look really, really good. But then using that little method as well, even if you don't have any issues within your image, it's just going to enhance that. And as we can see, there is a big difference. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually prefer this second one. There's just something about it, and it just looks that little, little bit better. Now, something like this, that wouldn't worry me too much because I could erase that out of that image if I were going to use this card. But nonetheless, we can see that does look better. And again, if we go back to the original ones which we did, this was the first version, which again, I do like, but I don't quite like that much. And if we take a look here, it's just enhanced and looks a million times better. So again, if you're creating any type of graphics here in Mid Journey, then come through and try this method out. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.